Hello everyone, Schoolhouse Intuitive Tarot. I'm here to do an All Signs weekly reading. Um, the first part will be, well, first of all, it's for the week of the 11th of September to the 18th, 2023. So it's approximate, you know, time's approximate, energy's approximate as far as time. So these are general, not personal. Please only take what resonates. Remember, you have free will's final say and your intuition knows best. Check out the disclaimer box for the disclaimer. Check out the description box for the disclaimer, I should say. And thank you to all, the, all of you who have subscribed, liked, shared, comment. I, I really do appreciate all of that. You have the Hermit card, Retreat and Recharge. After all, it is Virgo season, almost heading into Libra. We'll put this here for now. I am going to pull sign-specific messages towards the end of this reading. So that'll be the latter half, probably, of this reading. But for now, we're going to get common themes for this upcoming week. What do we have for the collective? Oh, I was getting um, Penelope. I'm getting something too, a uh, separate message about dental work. And I'm also getting something about freeing yourself from the mental imprisonment of circular thinking. All right. So again, these are general messages, but that's one that came in. Fall apart. This is smoky quartz. Sometimes things have to fall apart in order to come together. Just like the tower card, right? Sometimes things fall apart and they crumble because we're meant for something better. All right. Someone could have uh, their, their, their hopes set on you. I think you might know who this is. I'm also getting the name Daryl. I was getting Devin too, actually, or Devon. Hey, divinity too divinity all right and the name beaches or beach oh king of pentacles this came through in the libra weekly reading i do libra specific readings often um and this king of pentacles uh did come in for this week as well but it was somewhere else anyway the king of pentacles this is a business sense right this is entrepreneurial energy um this is someone who has all the resources they need to take care of themselves this is someone who um is it how they have that solid foundation okay it's almost like this castle at one time was the tower and it crumbled and fell and they've rebuilt it even stronger they've done this because they have that wisdom they have the resources they know what to do with the resources when they actually have those resources all right so this is actually also going to be uh, earth energy so it could be uh capricorn taurus virgo all right let's see what else you have the hierophant okay also i think came out but that's another you know taurus energy here we go more taurus energy so um this is again having that knowledge as i said you have that wisdom and some of you maybe have been told your whole life you're an old soul or you have wisdom beyond your years so that's that's also coming in all right and next we have the seven of pentacles wow this is all earth energy so far wow okay so this all has to do with you know uh, uh resources but this one's like you know, is it worth it? Like, have I, and this person looks pretty happy, maybe starting to finally see um, the fruits of your labor coming to fruition, so to speak. You also have the chariot card, that's Cancerian energy here. So this is about, you know, focus. Where do you put your focus? It might be a little unclear right now. I'm hearing it could be a little murky. Things could be a little murky, but um, choose what you take on wisely, the tasks. All right, choose. Sorry, my dog's walking around. What do you need? She's funny. She came into the, um, the other weekly reading I did, I think for Libra. Yeah, well, Libra reading. So here she is again. All right. So maybe there's something going on with dog energy for you, possibly. Um, that's coming in because literally my dog keeps coming in during readings just for this upcoming week. So there's something there. I feel there's something there about loyalty, companionship. Um, you know, dogs have a lot to do with being, you know, very loyal companions and trustworthy. So who do you trust? Um, who is worth your time, your energy? Where should you put those resources? All right, collective. As I said, cancer energy here. Um, the king of pentacles knows where to put the resources and they know how to create more of them too. You know, so this is, this is something to be mindful of too. Um, you know, dogs also have to do with um, following, like following your heart okay and what what brings you happiness okay they that's another message with with dogs 
that I feel. Um, uh, what's going to, where do you really want this chariot to go? This could also be travel. This could also be something about your vehicle. Maybe you need some repairs or something. Um, but you're like, oh, I don't want to look at the bill. I'm seeing that too. I'm also getting the nickname Peanut. All right. There's also a sense of, uh, some of you could be a little bewildered. That may be why you need to rest and retreat and recharge here. But you're tuning into your higher self and I'm actually getting that you're connecting. You're getting, I just heard something about like balancing with the earth, okay? So with all this earth energy, you know, that makes sense. Um, what else do we have? And actually that smoky quartz would have to do with your root chakra, you know? Okay, the three of swords here. So the three of swords, you know, because we have so many other earth signs, some of you could be dealing with some sort of medical matter, possibly. Um, I'm not a doctor or a medical intuitive or anything. This I'm just reading the energy, but because of the others, um, yeah, and I just saw bandage. It's So I'm clairvoyant too, um, among other clairs, but I just saw the word bandage here, okay? So some of you may be needing to retreat and recharge because you've had some sort of... Um, medical thing possibly going on i even just heard heat exhaustion so there's something about just being maybe like exhausted and i don't mean just being because that's a serious thing when you're actually truly exhausted um sometimes it can just be quite wearing this also could be some sort of a family matter or some sort of um something to do with a, a structured thing, something to do with that. But because I have the Hierophant here with the Three of Swords, it does make me think of possible hospital uh, institution, even um, some sort of institution. Okay. Uh, and when I say institution, I don't just mean mental institution. I mean an establishment, some sort of established tradition or core value even. All right. Um, I just heard somebody also say, talk to the hand. So this may be you needing to set boundaries with something or someone that hurt you in the past. This is air energy. So it's, it's Aries, Gemini, and Aquarius. And then you have this eight of pentacles. You go from the seven to the eight. So this eight, that's, you know, perfecting details, perfecting your craft. That's putting in the time. That's following a plan. These energies here, the king of pentacles and the hierophant, very solid grounded energies. This hermit here, you have all earth showing up here in this reading. I can't remember if that happened last week during the All Signs reading, but I think it was a lot of Capricorn energy, which would be Earth. So that happened as well. Um, the Eight of Pentacles, again, you know, you're hard at work there, um, kind of nose to the grindstone, so to speak. Um, but it is, again, like I said, it's, it's setting it up, setting yourself up for success and then really dedicating yourself to it. It's like then, so here's a wheel on this chariot and then here's the wheel. Like they're actually, you know, with all of these wheels and gears. Okay. So the gears are in motion here. I feel like you, you're what was once murky or cloudy. It's going to be, uh, you, with that retreat and recharge, you're actually going to be restored. Like the clarity is going to be there if it wasn't already. Okay. And I'll look at the bottom of the deck here. We have the 10 of cups. So this is cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, but overall, this is for everybody. This is everyone having their cake and eating it too. See the cake there and look, there's a dog again. So you have again, this dog showing up and this is like, this could definitely have to do with love, with family. Um, but it's, it's an abundance of satisfaction here. It's, um, it's uh, having that time to be able to relax and enjoy life. Make sure you're enjoying life. That matters. You matter. Your happiness really does matter. And it can be a driving force for your entire existence, really, is are you happy? Nine of pentacles. I love it. So many pentacles. My goodness. You have seven, eight, and nine. And with the nine of pentacles, that is someone who's resilient. They're self-reliant. You know, this is somebody who's proud of their accomplishments. I'm thinking of peacocks right now. Maybe you like peacocks. Um, but this is like, this is very close to that 10 of pentacles, right? So this is maybe doing things on your own, whereas the 10 of pentacles, maybe it's like generational or involves uh, partnerships or something, you know? Um, so whatever this is though, it's like you have what you need to move yourself in the direction that's going to uh, be most fulfilling and most rewarding. All right. And also to connect you to your um, like higher self, your true self and your oh, nine. OK, so another nine, nine of cups here. Wow. And seven of wands. OK, so 
Nine of, oh, and there's something underneath that. The Fool card. All right. So I like to see that after the Seven of Wands. But so let's get into this Nine of Cups, first of all, though. The Nine of Cups, and so now you have 99. So I'm definitely getting, okay, this is the Wish Fulfillment card. Okay. So we have the Wish Fulfillment, but it's like you made your wishes come true. You made your wishes come true. This is you on the start of that, right? Um, or right on the cusp of it happening, okay? Um, so like with hard working, with dedication, and really going where your heart follows you, although sometimes that can be painful. We have to leave people behind and all that stuff. But this is definitely uh, an energy, though, of like making it. You know, like you made it, but you also were the one who made it happen. So you made it and you made it. Seven of Wands. Okay, seven. So I, I am getting some success coming the way here. There's a victory for sure with the Chariot card and all these other cards together. This is this is satisfaction. Okay, sweet satisfaction coming in here. Now the Seven of Wands. This could be you know having to stick to your stick to your bat stick to um what is this like when other people are trying to pull you down or poke at you or whatever you're standing strong here. This is fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sag. So things may not necessarily be easy, right? And that's maybe why things need to fall apart, you need to rest and recharge, because this is all possible. You have that new fresh start here with the full card, but needing to let go of what weighs us down, what holds us back, okay? Um, what is it that we're subscribing to? What is it that, um, that we're allowing into our energy, allowing it to alter us and to try to Put us in a direction maybe that's not best for us so it's not selfish to love yourself right it isn't selfish to do that so that's maybe a message some of you needed to hear um i'm getting arizona coming in as well it could be the beverage that you like arizona i don't know but there's that's coming through a location possibly too or name and, and there's also um hamilton Yeah, okay, so that that name is coming through as well. But with this full card, you know, having that optimism, that hope, that dream is alive, and you're taking action, inspired action. And it's like sort of like a full circle here, okay? It's sort of full circle the way it's coming along here. And again, like I said, it's like fall apart and in order to have this fresh start. And I don't mean, um, it's it may not be an actual tower. For some of you, it could be, but... It's something, um, I'm picturing a swivel chair and I don't really know why. It's kind of like being sort of carefree with some of it, giving up some of the control and like being, being adaptable, being ready to go in whatever direction, um, and being okay with that wherever the journey takes you, because then you're not in a resistance position, right? You're in sort of a, um, an acceptance position and that's more inspirational that's more likely to lead you to um to be more in the flow of life and to to be more able to uh stand up for what you believe in you know with conviction with purpose and but not have to convince other people you're not going to have to and nor will you be able to likely to convince everybody that what you're doing is best for you People have their opinions, you know, they have their doubts, they have their whatevers. We've all got them, right? Um, could definitely be travel, though, because we're seeing a couple of travel cards here with the Fool and the Chariot. Hmm. I am getting something about the tides changing, though. Things are changing. Hmm. Getting a little bit of air energy here. Let's see what else here. Yeah, again, being able to change direction. Being able to change direction, maybe after having something um, kind of you were set maybe on something, but it's not that like you, you don't go off track. That's not what I'm saying. You don't go off track, but like you might change direction unexpectedly. Look. You may even surprise yourself. Look at this cat running because like all of a sudden one horse is going one way and the chariot's going one way and then this other horse is going. 
oh, maybe it's like chasing a cat, like going with their hunch, with their intuition. You might change it up last minute because you might get sort of uh, some sort of intuitive information that then makes you change direction. That could happen for some of you. Again, these are general readings. And you have the two of wands, right? So going out of your comfort zone here, um, again, we have fire energy, lots of fire here. We have earth, fire, we have water, we have everything. We have a little bit of air. So this is an all signs reading after all. The two of wands, um, this is your ambitions, your plans. This is um, choosing, you know, choosing which way to go. So that makes sense here with the full card. The full card has already chosen. They've chosen to start, to start this journey, to go in this new way, this new direction. Okay, uh, let's see what else we get. You may find it difficult to get comfortable. Um, it may you may just be having a hard time with that getting comfortable for whatever reason. It could be uh, something physical going on. It could be insomnia, something. But there's something about discomfort, like not maybe or you're just feeling energetically unsettled. But again, this this grounding energy with this hermit card retreat, retreat and recharge is kind of calling your name here, right? And then we have the King of Wands. So you have the King of Pentacles and the King of Wands now. What's interesting is uh, in the Libra weekly reading, they had the Queen of Wands and the King of Pentacles. So there's a little bit of a crossover there, okay? Um, the King of Wands, that is you know similar to the Queen of Wands. It's, it's that go-getting kind of energy. It is something like once you've chosen, once you know what you want, what's going to make you happy, and you've put in the work, whatever, like nothing will stop this King of Wands. They will not stop. And that's kind of like your advice, like do not stop. It could take until Christmas time. I literally heard the words Christmas. So I know not everybody celebrates, but it could be in Christmas is December 25th. So it could be around that season. All right. That something then maybe comes more into fruition. You might not see that total you know, nine of pentacles there until December. And um, that's time period has been coming in for me too, for several readings. Okay. Sometimes I get general message for like, for just an energy in general of the earth at the time or something, you know? Um, and so that has been another one that there could be sort of this cycle that maybe starts in August and goes through December. So just something there with that. Okay. Um, King of wands though, what makes you passionate and go for it? That's it's, you know, with the, on top of the chariot and the 10 of cups, like, you know, it's going to make you happy. Decide where you're putting your resources, stick to the plan and go with it. If you need to make a sudden change, know that just like that swivel chair, you can, you can, you are capable of swiveling. Okay. If you need to, you're capable of, uh, of adapting on, you know, turning on a dime, so to speak. All right. Uh, you're being, you may have to pivot. You may have to slightly change your direction, okay, or um, your perspective on something. But overall, this looks like this looks like a pretty good week. Um, oh my gosh, I looked at the bottom of the deck, and you have the card for Libra and Taurus ruled by Venus. Here we have the Empress. Now I'm going to leave it right there for this portion of the reading, okay? Um, I almost called you Libras, <laughs> okay, everyone. Um, this is the Empress card is someone who again, talk about resources like they, this is the divine feminine. This is possessing the energy of all four Queens. This is someone who has been through it and now has that castle in the background there as, as their own. They're in the flow, in the flow of life. Um, they realize that they, uh, influence the environment as much or more than the environment influences them. So it's really, um, realizing that you are part of this divine matrix you are you are a part of the um you're part you're part of everything and and everything's part of you we're all connected but it's like it's somehow realizing that and this is very grounded energy connected to nature this could involve pregnancy or birthing of an idea even or something but i love the nine of pentacles with the empress card because they're just both they're just these like astoundingly uh independent powerful energies all right um so I just heard Gabriel too, Gabriel or Gabrielle, Gabriella even. All right. So that's coming in. Um, there's going to be something about somebody being wishy-washy. All right. I want to know more about that. Um, wishy-washy. What is that about? We'll take this Empress off. We'll get a card for this wishy-washy. 
if something's wishy-washy, I don't normally use that. Wishy-washy, it's fun to say. Tell me about this wishy-washiness that could possibly be coming in for the collective. One card, two cards, one card. The five of wands, yeah, there could be some sort of, um, you know, competition, wishy-washy. We've got the two of pentacles, yeah. Something could kind of throw you off balance. Maybe you, someone being competitive with you that you didn't expect or someone just not being willing to hear you out or collaborate or people not wanting to go in the same direction. So there could be some sort of shift because of that. There could be a parting of ways, possibly, with the Two of Pentacles here. So you have more fire in Earth, you know, surprise, surprise. <laughs> but um, this is kind of having to juggle, like balance things out. But look on the bottom, Justice, okay? So, oh, and that's actually another Libra card. So there's the there's your Justice card right there. So things, <laughs> just keep looking at the bottom here. You have the High Priestess. I mean, this is amazing. So I feel as though you're going to go if you're unsure, the advice is lean in the direction of your intuition. All right. That's, that's what that's saying. And also you had, uh, mm, no, actually that wasn't it. This is success though. Yeah. Lean on your, lean on your, uh, inspiration, your faith, your, your knowledge, your inner knowledge, your knowing your ancestry, even I'm getting for this, um, similar to this hierophant here. Okay. Um, Hmm. I'm hearing Whalen, maybe the name Whalen. The high priestess, that their direction, their compass is all within. There's a pair here. I'm really, well, so we have two and two here. Okay. Getting that balance, balance being restored. So whatever does happen, if it does, like, like I said, like swiveling, I think we're just getting kind of a repeat of the previous message. And that is um, your intuition may tell you to quickly swing right, go this way. You know what I mean? Like if you're actually driving, but your, your intuition may give you just a quick nudge and you're okay with it. Like you just know, or maybe you feel that it's like, you know, your mom who's crossed over or something, but it's like you somehow you feel yourself be guided almost by this like hand of the divine, possibly. Maybe it won't be that intense for some of you, but for some of you, it could be sort of this like cosmic experience, you know, where you feel as though you were touched um, by spirit and that that's actually what helped you. Um, I'm getting for this, for some of you, you're going to be getting closure. Could be from this, um, this energy here that might, you know, kind of has a tendency to throw one off balance, but that's not happening here. This person looks perfectly sure still. And with all these other cards, I mean, no little one thing is going to ruin all of this. You know, it's just not. And either way, you've always got that, that full card always at the beginning here, ready to start over if needed. But you have the nine of cups, the 10 of cups. I mean, you have justice, the empress, you have nine of pentacles, the hierophant. So you have a lot of Taurus energy here too. Um, and a lot of fire energy. Uh, Aries is coming through too. So I do feel like it's, it's, um, it's, it's action. It could definitely be inspired by higher guidance. Okay. But things, there's going to be clarity. There's clarity. This is a truth card too, justice. All right. So that's kind of the theme for the week collective. Now let's get you some other cards here. What's for your opportunities? Hmm. No, actually I want to, I want to keep those for sign specific. Let's see if there are any sort of uh, hidden money blocks we need to know about. Whoa, what is this? Don't value time. Evaluate your time. So not this is about not using time wisely. But you have all the support here, all the energy working with you this week to guide you in that right direction because you have all these pentacles and the empress and everything. And that is about knowing how to use your resources. So you may have to make that decision, though, here with the seven of pentacles. You may need to make some sort of a decision with the two of pentacles, too. So stay in charge of your time, evaluate the hours in your days and see if there's a lot of wasted time that you could manage better. Prioritize your goals and decide which are important. You could actually be giving too much to other people freely. And then you might be being too hard on yourself too. All right. Um, so this is about knowing you are a winner. 
This is being too hard on yourself, creating unnecessary and difficult hurdles that don't exist. So give yourself credit for how far you've come. You don't need to lower, you don't need to lower your bar, but you do need to be able to see all of your small wins. You may want to make an actual timeline of the last two years, okay? Or your whole life, however you want to do this. But make a timeline and plot on that timeline your accomplishments on the top. And then maybe consider on the bottom, what were you having to overcome? Like kind of like, you know, uh, lost, lost my job. Applied to be my own business owner. Had my first client. Like did this, you know what I mean? Like all those little wins though, like there could have been some big event that really threw you, you know, really threw you a wrench in your plants, you know? And then, but also mark all those little wins along the way. Like you did this yourself. You built your own website. You, um, you know, you did your own advertising. You started a YouTube channel. You did this, you did that, you, you know? So, so make sure you're keeping track of all that. All right. Oh, wow. And on the bottom here, I just have power, ocean tides. You are a force to be reckoned with. Don't underestimate how powerful and beautiful you are. Just like the ocean. Face things head on and never stop making waves. Wow. Some good stuff right there. Okay. Next. Let's get some love messages. I act like I don't care when deep down I really do. Ah, somebody's caring still, even though they act like they don't. I think you know who this is. What do we have here? We have two things. Telepathic bond and I can't stand the thought of you with someone else. Ah. Make sure you know why someone's coming back. If they do, in fact, come back, what do they really want? And then there's repetitive cycles. Yeah, you may have someone you've been repeating this cycle with over and over and over, right? It's like you never get off the spin cycle here or something. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is uh, maybe falling into old patterns or routines or whatever. Someone trying to do that. That's what this could be. This um, five of wands pulling you in as far as the two of pentacles maybe being a little off balance here. Seven of wands having to really set those firm boundaries here. Some people are takers. Follow the path of your soul. Card two, do not allow anything or anyone to stop you. Oh, excellent. Another love message, please. The topic of love. Mm -hmm. Guilt. Don't let guilt get in the way of happiness when it comes to love. Okay. And intense the intensity of a true soul connection includes great highs and lows and great lows so there's great highs there are those big lows but remember there are also those great highs kind of makes me think of that timeline again with your successes there could be some mirroring going on too in a relationship when i look at this intensity um this is any kind of connection too all right like if you're in a job and it's just like you know it's just all lows, 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 and there's no real like successes, wins, or celebrations, then, you know, you're probably rethinking things. I don't know. Up to you. Tame negative thinking. When negative thoughts arise, experience the feelings behind them, and then shift to a larger, more compassionate perspective. Compassion for yourself. Talk to yourself as though you talk to your child, right? You want to build yourself up, build your children up, right? All right, let's get you some... Um, all right, so this looks like, it does look like there's um, some great possibilities in this upcoming week. You know, it's like, you know, knowing your power and knowing that, um, but you know what? Also taking care of your own needs. There's certainly something here about taking care of your own needs. You have all the resources you need for something. I mean, that, that's been made very clear. So now we're going to go into the sign specific portion of the reading where I um, just draw randomly some signs and we pull a few cards for them. We're brought right back to this retreat and recharge, okay? So make sure you're getting that much needed rest and replenishment. All right, here we are, here we go. Starting out first, I'm gonna shuffle these up a little. We have a straggler here, left behind here. Here we go. Let's see. What do we have? We have Capricorn. You get to go first. So you're going to get three different cards here. You're going to get an animal message. You're going to get an angel number. And you're going to get um, a fortune cookie. So here we have 
Jealousy. Uh-oh. Watch who you trust with your personal secrets and plans. Spend time outdoors with nature to reconnect and replenish. I literally just said the word replenishment. All right, here we go. What else? What animal do we have for Capricorn? Animal and chakra. Okay, this is the one. Kingfisher, card six. Quantum mechanics. This is your earth star chakra. It's a little bit below your feet into the earth. It's time for a quantum leap. Let go of fear and don't hesitate for too long when a golden opportunity presents itself. I just saw an ace of pentacles flashing before Capricorns. And your number is 555, sign of transformation. You can expect the unexpected. Doesn't have to be a bad thing, right? This could be good. Let's assume it's good. We assume good things. Good things are more likely to happen. Generally. All right, next we have Aries. Aries, your fortune cookie card is, whoa. Major life change. Now that came through in the, um, in the whole reading for the collective. So this is especially for you. Time is right for major life changes as a new lifestyle or location brings great joy in a trouble-free existence. Your animal card is? Armadillo, card one, energy protection. Again, earth star chakra, so below your feet. Are you feeling sensitive to harsh energies? Remember to shield yourself. Ask your angels to guard and protect you and trust that you are safe. And that you can survive in even the harshest conditions, but we don't want you to have to live in that. You have sign transformation too, 555. You can expect the unexpected and you also have 1212. We'll give you another one. Sign of manifesting dreams. Stay focused on your goals and your dreams, Aries. Okay. Next, we have Gemini. Gemini, Gemini. What do we have for the twins? Whoa. All right, you have communication. Well, you are an air sign. Communication. A reunion could bring love or rekindling of friendships. A lucky win seems likely. Ooh, I like that, Gemini. Good. Shuffling really well here, you have uh, Wolverine. All right, Wolverine, integration, your root chakra, chakra number one. Twelve, you are, an important, you are on an important journey of healing and discovery, Gemini. Don't rush this process. Fully take in the magic of each moment. So take in all that magic. And you have, oh, you have two that came out. 212, sign to strength and trust. And 1414, a sign to remain positive. So you need to trust more in yourself and others and make sure you're purging negativity in life as you level up, Gemini. Thank you to all of these, all of you who have subscribed, liked, shared, commented. It helps a lot. Please consider doing so if you haven't. Virgo, just let, lets me know, you know, if you like these readings. Let's me know how I'm doing and if you want more of this, you know. All right, so friendship. A friend needs your help. Your kindness and excellent counseling skills will put them back on track. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a sense that some of you are really good listeners too. Kingfisher, so I think Capricorn had this, your fellow earth sign, earth star chakra, quantum mechanics. It's time for a quantum leap. Let go of fear. Don't hesitate for too long when a golden opportunity presents itself. And you have 2121, a test of your balance. Stay the course and remember your worth. That is what we have for Virgo. Next, Sagittarius. Burnout. Your hard work will see results, but your health needs to be maintained. So check in with your doctor, dentist, health professional, and try to maintain a healthy lifestyle. Okay, these are all, you know, general messages and take them or leave them. You're kidding, Kingfisher. So you also have Kingfisher, a time for a quantum leap, let go of fear. Don't hesitate when there's a golden opportunity. And let's get you one more. You have Coyote. You actually have two more. You have Owl and Coyote. So Coyote card 31, Stillness. This is your throat chakra. Take some time to rest and reconnect with your inner voice. Look at this. Burnout. Take some time to rest. Be still and listen. What is your inner wisdom revealing to you? And you have Owl. This is um, about generator. 
Third eye chakra, what are you seeing in your mind's eye? Whatever you can imagine you can create, use the power of your inner vision wisely. And your number card is 999, sign of completion. You're finishing a chapter to start the next. Wow. I'm hearing the name Connor. And also something about a Scottish twin. Scottish twin. You'll know if that's you or not. <laughs> You'll know if it's your message, I guess. All right. Pisces. Sunshine. The sun is shining on you. Career and business growth, fabulous communication and relationships. So yeah, you've got it all here. This is excellent. Okay. So the sun shining on your career, your business, your growth, uh, fabulous communication and relationships is also up there. And you have the Komodo dragon. Card four, focused intention, earth star chakra. A lot of earth star chakra coming through for people today. So that's uh, just below. It's your connection to earth, all right? It's just below your, your feet. Keep your eyes on your target. Don't let anything distract you. You create what you focus on. This sounds similar to like Aries. And you have 909, a sign of good luck. Things are about to change in a positive way. Oh, I keep bumping my light here. It's right in my way, but it needs to be there so um, you can see the cards better. Taurus. I'm hearing it's the last leg of the race. You have love, Taurus. You are ruled by Venus. Love is in the air. It's a great time for commitment and taking relationships to the next level. And you have rabbit, sacral chakra. That's about creation. This is a card of awareness, card 17. Notice what's happening within and around you. Hidden gifts and opportunities will reveal themselves as you slow down and listen. All right. Oh, you have 424, sign of love and courage. That could be a birthday. That could be your birthday. 424, love and courage. Now's the time to make a move in love. Wow. Oh my goodness. So this is like such love. All right. So if you're not wanting love, let's get you another number. 777, divine guidance. This is connecting with your spiritual guides. All right. Love doesn't have to be romantic, by the way. I always say that. Leo. I knew that had to be Leo because it was the smallest of all of them. Because <laughs> Leo is the shortest word for all these signs you have oh wow leo you also have romance love is set to sizzle yeah the chance for romance is high for those seeking a connection and you have snake impulse root chakra card 10 be still and alert similar to rabbit allow opportunities to come to you instead of chasing them once the right impulse arrives act quickly without hesitation and you have 1414 14, assigned to remain positive as well as 2121, a test of your balance. So your balance could be tested. Stay the course, remember your worth. And this is about purging negativity as you level up, Leo. And you are going to be in the spotlight, by the way. All right. Aquarius, something I'm hearing about you're following your inner compass, Aquarius. I'm hearing Beatrice. Beatrice, care required. Guard yourself against deception. Be careful of making foolish mistakes at this time. Hawk, huh, wholeness. You're being protected here, okay? Uh, this is about your sacral chakra, card 16. That's seven, so that's spiritual tests and lessons. So yeah, hawks are messengers and protectors too. What do you truly desire? Reconnect with your big vision. Allow yourself to take flight in the direction of your greatest joy and passion. 1818, a sign of great things to come. You're motivated to achieve more out of life. All right. There we go. I'm hearing something about indigo or blue. Indigo, blue, or separately messages. Indigo and then blue. Either one could be a name, too. Like indigo could be a name of something or something. All right. You have change, Scorpio. A change of residence, partner, career, or job is on the cards. You're restless and in need of a change, and that's exactly what's coming your way. Again, there was this sort of energy of like discomfort, kind of restlessness coming through in the general reading. And I'm hearing, okay, I see dolphin. 
divine birthright. Heart chakra, card 28. Abundance is your true nature. There's nothing you need to do to deserve your heart's desires. So there's nothing you need to do to get what you want and what you really feel is right for you. Allow the universe to shower you with divine blessings. Sometimes we have to let go of our expectations. 808, sign of balanced mind and spirit. Yeah, aligning you with universal flow. I just said like giving up on, you know, expectations. And then we have something about being aligned and in the flow there. Okay, next we have Libra. What do we have for Libra for this upcoming week? Libra, I did a September reading for you if you haven't checked it out already. Whoa, 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 what is this? Libra gets signs. Your future, your future positive direction will reveal itself. Interesting, interesting wording. Your future positive direction will reveal itself. Any doubts and confusions will soon disappear. Hmm. Hearing something about lyrics. 20, octopus, exploration. Exploration, solar plexus chakra. A magical adventure is calling you, Libra. Dare to explore what excites your spirit and don't fear the unknown. You get two. 313, I'm hearing Connie. Sign of optimism. Embrace the positive change coming. Oh, nice. And 1111, a sign of spiritual awakenings. You are drawn to higher vibrations. And I feel as though... That's what's drawn to you. But still make sure you're taking care of yourself. You're not overgiving. Next, Cancer. Cancer, you have 4143. You're going to get an extra card. Opportunities. An important offer will be made. Be prepared and dress to impress. And then you have communication. That's your bonus card because you were the last sign drawn. A reunion could bring love or a rekindling of friendships. A lucky win seems likely, Cancer. An important offer will be made. This, I think Gemini had this. Maybe you're on that cusp or you have that in your chart or you're dealing with someone with a Gemini in their chart. Okay, next you have Elephant, Direction. I feel like you're happy to see this card. Card seven, Root Chakra. Place your feet firm on the ground and connect with the earth element. New clarity manifests as you get out of your head and into your body. Sensual, sensual. <laughs> uh, that just came in, so <laughs> well, here it is. And then you have 88, sign of enlightenment. You have achieved wisdom and you find success. This could be something formal. Also hearing something about a tuxedo. So you may be going to an event or something or just went to one or something or something coming up maybe in October. but. Something coming in for you where you might be wearing a suit. All right, just for some of you. All right, so please consider liking, sharing, subscribing, leaving a comment. I would appreciate it. Have a gorgeous week, everyone. I appreciate all of my subscribers. Thank you so much for tuning in consistently. It helps a lot. Thank you. Blessings.